You think your phone is safe, right? Well, think again. Imagine a hacker listening to your calls, reading your texts, and even stealing your two-factor authentication codes, all without touching your phone. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie? It's real, and it's called SS7 hacking. SS7, or Signaling System 7, is the underlying infrastructure that connects the world's phone networks. Every time you send a message, make a call, or receive a verification code, SS7 is at work. It's been around since the 1970s, well before smartphones existed. So, as you can imagine, it has some serious vulnerabilities, and hackers have learned to exploit it in terrifying ways. Let's look at a real-world example. In 2017, hackers exploited SS7 vulnerabilities to break into people's bank accounts in Germany. By intercepting their two-factor authentication codes, these hackers drained their victims' accounts in minutes. If that can happen in Germany, a country known for its strong cybersecurity, it can happen anywhere. Even major public figures and political leaders aren't safe. Reports suggest that SS7 vulnerabilities were used to spy on high-profile targets like politicians and activists. Scary stuff, right? So how does this actually work? SS7 is designed to allow phone networks to talk to each other, even across international borders. But the problem is, any telecom provider with access to SS7 can misuse this system. Hackers only need to breach one telecom operator's system to launch an attack. Once they're in, they can intercept your text messages, redirect your calls, and even access your two-factor authentication codes. They don't need to break into your phone, just the network. Imagine thinking you're secure because your phone is in your hand, but in reality, someone else is pulling all the strings. The scariest part? You wouldn't even know it's happening. There's no pop-up, no notification, and no visible sign of compromise. You go about your day as usual, and meanwhile, hackers are silently siphoning off your data or using your phone to commit fraud. That's how seamless SS7 exploitation can be, and telecom companies have struggled for years to fully patch these issues. So, what can you do to protect yourself? First and foremost, stop relying on SMS-based two-factor authentication. Hackers can easily intercept those codes. Instead, switch to more secure methods like Google Authenticator or hardware tokens like YubiKey. For messaging, ditch SMS and move to encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp. These apps encrypt your messages end-to-end, -end, making it much harder for hackers to snoop. While telecom companies are slowly working on better security for SS7, the truth is you need to be proactive in protecting your personal data. Stay ahead of the hackers and protect your digital life. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need to hear this. The threat is real, but together we can stay secure. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.